Welcome back to another video here. I have not been here a lot this week. I have been super busy with some projects at work, uh, but you guys don't care about any of that. I'm just glad to be back here doing this video because guess what? This is Dallas week. Dallas week. Come on, folks. You better get excited about this because we have a lot to talk about uh, in a short amount of time, I have to say. Uh, but first, I want to just talk about uh, Demarius Thomas. Um, unfortunately, they found him deceased in his home. Um, no signs of uh, foul play or anything like that. Uh, Thomas was 33 years old. I mean, it's just um, it's just unbelievably sad. He played on the uh, Super Bowl uh, team with the uh, Denver Broncos when they played the Carolina Panthers. Um, my thoughts and prayers go out to uh, Thomas's family. Um, just tragic, sad. Um, I, I just uh, I feel I feel for his family. So I just want to give that moment to uh, uh, Demarius Thomas. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So first of all. We were excited about getting Montez Sweat back for this game. I was pumped for this because I felt like we really need as many of our stars as we possibly can. We had just heard about Logan Thomas having some good news and bad news. You know, the good news, he did not tear his ACL. But, of course, they're basically putting him on the shelf for the rest of the season, um, you know, uh, which is a smart move. But we get Montez Sweat back, and then Montez Sweat, Montez Sweat <clears throat> pretty much um, gets COVID. And he's one of the uh, few players in the league who is dead set against the vaccine. So he has COVID. He's out for 10 days. You know, hopefully we get him back for the Eagles game because we're going to need him for that but so yeah there, there's one more one more game that Montez Sweat is going to miss and it's not due to the jaw so that kind of you know that kind of bites but it is what it is you know we have won four straight without Chase Young and Montez Sweat so we can definitely win this football game but it would have been nice to have had Montez Sweat I mean who would not have wanted that guy back there? Um, talking about this game, though, I mean, Mike McCarthy, the dude in his press interview comes out and guarantees, you know, not just says that I think we have a great chance to win this game. No, he comes out and he guarantees that the Dallas Cowboys will beat the Washington football team guarantees. I don't think this is a smart move on Mike McCarthy's part whatsoever. I appreciate the confidence. Um, I appreciate that, you know, he's trying to get his players pumped up and, you know, all this stuff. But you, the Washington football team does not need bulletin board material. Because they already know what's at stake. And anytime you're going to play the Washington football team, I mean, this is not lip service. This is not me, you know, looking at things through burgundy and gold colored glasses. This is just the facts that, you know, this team doesn't come to roll over and let you just, you know, blow them out in games. I mean, this team has fought hard from week one on through. Uh, and they've gotten better, and they've won four straight, and this team is hot right now, and they're finding ways to win, and they're finding ways to win without some key players playing for us. And I don't know if you come out and you guarantee. I, I don't think – I started to say I don't think that that is a smart move. I think it's a mistake. And Ron Rivera also said he thought it was a mistake. And – he said, it, it, it's really a non-burger. I mean, there's no need to come out and do this. But, hey, do it. That's fine. Go out and just, you know, call our team a sham, whatever you need to do to make your team feel better, to make yourself feel better as a coach. But I guarantee, 
hey, talk about guarantees. I guarantee it's not going to be easy. If the Dallas Cowboys are able to leave FedEx Field with a victory, something's going to be taken from them. I guarantee it. It's going to be, it's going to be a bloody war out there. And people think that the rivalry is done. Rivalry is not done. It's just getting started up again, in, in my respect, in my opinion. You know, and Washington has won the last, what, three out of four games, maybe? I know that they swept the Dallas Cowboys last year. So don't tell me that this is going to be a guaranteed win for the Dallas Cowboys because nothing's guaranteed at all except, as what Jonathan Allen said, uh, death and taxes. So I love the bulletin board material. Mike McCarthy, keep talking, keep talking, because you're just going to fuel the fire. I mean, fans are already, I'm, I'm expecting fans to be there screaming loud for the Washington football team. So, you know, you're not, maybe I can kind of see this if Dallas has been on a long winning streak and this game is being played in Texas, but it's not. It's being played in Washington, well, Maryland, technically, and, well, you're not home, and we may send you home kicking and screaming. That's all I got to say about that. So I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, any, I'm, t- I'm telling you guys, any guy who, or any fan, I should say, I'm sorry, that is not fired up to play the Dallas Cowboys, I start to, you know, question your fandom because it does not matter the season, does not matter the records. Anytime that I see that, you know, those colors, that star on the helmet just makes me sick. All right. And I got a lot of friends who are Dallas Cowboys fans and I love, I love my friends to death, but, um, I just, uh, I don't love their choices in life when it comes to choosing their favorite football team. So I'm, you know, I'm just like chomping at the bits. I, I cannot wait for one o'clock on Sunday to get here because as far as I'm concerned, I am not scared at all with this game. In fact, I think that this game is going to be a great game. I would love to see a close game, but I would love to see a physical tough game. And I think that's what you're going to get from the Washington football team. And I expect nothing less from the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, let's face it, Dallas has one of the best trios of wide receivers in the league. Um, they have a solid running back in Ezekiel Elliott. They have a good quarterback in Dak Prescott. Uh, Micah Parsons, you know, right now everybody is saying he is, um, you know, miles ahead of Chase Young. That's a little unfair considering Chase Young is injured. But, you know, he's, he's a force to, to tend with. And, you know, Randy Gregory and all those guys, I mean, it's not going to be an easy task for Taylor Haneke, but, you know, at the same time, we have faced a tough task. We have faced some strong defenses. You know, Carolina had strong defense. We all know Tampa Bay Buccaneers had a strong defense, and we beat those teams. So there's no reason why that Washington can't beat the Dallas Cowboys. There's no guarantees. As a matter of fact, um... I think that Washington can pull this game off. I think if at at worst there's going to be a split with the series this season, um, you know, I, I it would be a tough, tall task to ask the Washington football team to sweep Dallas as much as I would love to see that, and it may happen. Who knows? But Washington, as far as I'm concerned, probably only needs to really go like what, three and two the rest of the way and could still get into the playoffs. But we all know that we're we're wanting to make sure that Dallas is not going to run away with the division. In fact, Washington is still very much in the thick of things with winning the division as well. So let's see what happens, folks. But having said all that, you need to get excited. You need to get excited. This is Dallas week, man. We hate Dallas. Bring them on. You know, if they are going to guarantee this win, they're going to come in with all the swagger, then bring them in. Let's see what happens. And then let's see what we talk about afterwards 
after this game is over. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, share it with your favorite friends who are Dallas Cowboys fans <laughs> or whoever. Um, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I always love having more fans on board, more subscribers, um, because I just love sitting down and chatting with you guys in the morning about football. All right, guys, take care. You all have a great day and hell to the Washington football team.